Welcome back. I, he had the honour of kicking off this year's London Fashion Week with a show inspired by James Joyce's Ulysses, launching red-headed models down the catwalk in tweed and heavy knits. Designer Paul Costello showed why, after more than five decades in the fashion business, he still senses the mood of the times. At 77, if I may say so, he has a time-honoured work ethic. And since he doesn't regard Sunday as a day off, he joins me now. Um, lovely to see you. And lovely to see you. Um, looking there at your, your most recent designs, I mean, I immediately... They're, they're, they're women's clothes, but I immediately see how they could be worn. I immediately see their elegance. I see the, 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 the cut of them. You are producing clothes that people can just about imagine themselves wearing if they could afford them, and that's different from many of your colleagues Thank and rivals. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a tailor. I love fabrics. My, my father had a factory in Dublin, and um, I was brought up in that background of cut and sew, and um, I, I respect it. It's, 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 not, it's not a gimmicky c career. It's, it's, it's very relevant. And then having lived in Italy, lived in Paris, um, lived in New York, I, I got schooled reasonably well. When did, you, when did you feel that you had broken through? Because presumably many people start with a, a life story like yours, but not many climb the ladder. Well, I think it's just stamina, Michael. You probably un understand that more than me. Uh, it's just keeping staying on the horse. I always compare myself to a Grand National uh, jockey. As long as you stay on, at least be 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 before they lower the fences, you would generally get with, 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 within the top five or six. So, I, so that was my my process, and kind of just learning to uh, take take the hits and uh, and uh, re recuperating quickly. Did, did luck play a part? Was there a moment where someone spotted you or you were in the right place at the right oh, time? God, unfortunately, no. Nobody really, really spotted me. I think I just shoved myself uh, because I, I, I wasn't a typical fashion designer. I came from a very large family of seven, brought up in Dublin in a big old mansion with tennis courts and croquet lawns. So it, it was a different environment. I wasn't there. I was... So I started off in, in sort of a comfort to a certain extent. And um, then having moved to Paris, I, I was struggling terribly. I was way below the standards. But, but I, I kept going and uh, I'm very grateful to Paris and, and to Milan for, for giving me that values of, um, of, of quality. And uh, as a man of such great dress and standards, <laughs> you would appreciate that. You know, you'd, you, you, you won't find that jacket or those trousers in, in Marks and Spencers. I, 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 I don't know whether you're pulling my leg, but, te but tell me about the, your latest show, um, inspired by Ulysses. Exactly. Uh, James Joyce, Dublin. In... A, a, a hundred years old. It was written a hundred years oh, ago. Oh, yeah, at least, at least. But he, uh, having, having grown up in Dublin and, and having that kind of humour when, when Dublin was a great fun city where, where it was all mysterious and dark and badly lit streets and um, boulevards that nobody walked on in case they got tripped or killed or robbed, uh, but it, it was a special city and um, with, with a lot of characters and personalities. And, uh, and it was not, nothing to do with wealth, it was to do with alcohol, which is something I treasure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sure that's so in, in, incorrect, but, uh, and, and womenizing, and, and generally all the rules were, were broken. And, and in a way that's what this collection reflects. Ref, 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 reflects uh, people enjoying themselves, enjoying their clothes and, and, and having fun. And I think we've forgotten. I believe that one of the reasons you look as good as you do in your eighth decade is that you, <laughs> you cycle a lot. I do. I, I cycle. I, uh, I, uh, I don't always love it, uh, particularly with, with certain cars coming in on top of you. I had a couple of falls. I, I fell on, at least on the Fulham Road, so it's a good street to fall on, uh, out, outside uh, the West, Westminster Hospital. I'm, so, I'm sorry to hear that, but do, <laughs> do you see things from your cycle that you might not see if you were confined in a car, do you think? I, I well, absolutely. I, I think you do notice, and I, I, I look at the people crossing the road. I, I look at the shops on the King's Road. I cycle through Knightsbridge, look at the, the, the comfort of the people there, and then I go through Hyde Park, where I dream again about nature. 
Daskal is coming back, which they are at the moment, and uh, it's it's a it's a treasure. And uh, I'm a, I'm I, I, when I was growing up, I wanted to be a cowboy, but but but, but uh, so the nearest thing is the bike because I I wasn't allowed to 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 study agriculture because I didn't have the necessary points. Otherwise, I'd been out in the Midwest somewhere at this point. Oh, there, there we are. So luck has played an extraordinary part in your life. But tell me this: not having a choice, my. Uh, in, in, Mike, yes, that's that's the secret. People, some people have got too much talent, like you. You know, you're a politician. You've done this. You've done that. You're you're, you're now a travelling Roman soldier. Yeah, yeah, I do all that. Uh, yeah. And and I think you 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 had a choice. I had no choice. No, you could either paint or, or, or be a fashion designer. And tell me now, why, after 50 years in the business, <laughs> why why do you want to go through the strain and the hassle Same of doing hassle. two shows a year? Two shows a year, and particularly this one was really tough. And I, I kind of, I went way over budget because I had 54 outfits instead of normally 40. And um, I, I like to challenge. I still think I'm quite good. And I'm not going to allow somebody else to take my space. Very similar, Michael. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I've, I'm, yeah. I'm still cluttering up this sofa as well. Um, no, very good. And uh, I, I think you're pretty good too, Paul. So thank you very much. Well, I think you're very good too. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming on uh, GB News. That is uh, Paul Kess.